What's up, everybody? Hello and welcome to Not Your Average Meta, an MTG Commander channel dedicated to bringing you decks and commanders you wouldn't normally find in your average meta. This week on Not Your Average Meta, we have another game we filmed down at the Hobby Horse in Taylorville with our friend Eric. First, we have Eric playing his Volo Guide to Monsters deck. This is a Simic Value deck that looks to generate a ton of mana in order to cast his big stompy creatures and run over his opponents. Next, we have Foil returning with the Sephiroth of the Mist Triggers deck. Disclaimer, if you get triggered by Mist Triggers, turn away now. With the Sephiroth deck, Foil looks to venture his way through all these dungeons and come out clean on the other side. Next, we have Fog playing Braylon Skyshark Rider. This deck is a Mono Red Wheels deck that looks to wheel and deal his hand to get a win. Think Nekusar, but with a plus one plus one counter slash Voltron twist. Lastly, we have Justin playing a new deck he's made, and that is Rashmi Eternity's Crafter. This is a Simic deck that looks to take advantage of Rashmi's pseudo cascade ability by casting fat spells at a discounted price in order to cheat in more cards for more value. Now that we have our fighters, let's step into the Thunderdome and see which deck will come out on top. Turn zero, Eric plays the Gemstone Caverns echoing card to start the game. Justin plays an untapped Vine Glimmer Snarl, revealing a forest. He then casts a Neverwinter Dryad. Eric draws and plays an island. He then casts Mana Crypt and Mox Oval before tapping out to cast his commander Volo. Foil draws, plays a Swamp, and passes. Fog draws, plays a Mountain, and casts a coveted Turn 1 Soul Ring. Justin plays a Temple of Mystery, scrying one to the bottom of his library. He then casts a Preordained, scrying two more, and drawing a card. Eric wins his Mana Crypt roll and plays a Rhystic Study. He then casts Lawn or Elves, getting a second copy from Volo. Foil draws and discards before passing. Fog draws and plays another mountain before tapping out to cast his commander, Braylon Skyshark Rider. Justin untaps her turn and plays an island. He then taps two for an Ornithopter of Paradise and passes. Eric takes three from his Mana Crypt and draws for turn. He then casts an Uro, getting a second copy from Volo. He then draws off the first Uro and gains 3 life. Then the second Uro comes in and he draws and gains 3 more life. Both copies then go to the graveyard. He then casts the Sylvan Library. Foil destroys for turn and discards again. Fog draws, plays another mountain, and casts Cathartic Reunion, discarding 2. Dealing 2 damage to each opponent, and puts 2 1-1 counters on his commander before drawing 3. He then cycles Spark Spray, getting another counter and dealing another damage. He then casts Hollow 1 for 0 and goes to combat swinging Braylon and Eric for 6 commander damage. Justin draws for turn and plays a forest. He then taps out to cast his commander Rashmi. Eric looks at his top 3 with his library. He then puts 1 back on top and takes 4 to keep 1. He then plays a Scalding Tarn and remembers the roll for his crypt taking 3 more damage. He then casts Growing Rights of Itlamok, looking at his top 4 and revealing a Culver Impersonator. He then sacks the Tarn, taking 1 to go get an island. He then casts an Arcane Signet. He then casts his Culver Impersonator as a copy of Growing Rights, which we later realized was an illegal target. Then the second copy from Personator comes in as a copy of Justin's commander, Rajmi. He looks at his top four again before passing and flipping his growing rights into Illumog Cradle of the Sun. Foil draws, doesn't get a land, and discards again. Fog and taps return and draws. He plays another mountain and then cycles Yudaro, dealing a damage and getting a counter. He draws out the cycle and casts Illuminate History. He discards three cards, dealing three more damage, puts three more counters on his commander, and creates an illusion token before drawing three cards. Justin plays an island that evokes Mold Drifter. He then reveals Rewind off his Rashmi trigger, putting it to hand, before drawing two and casting a Talisman of Curiosity.
Eric loses his Mana Crypt roll, taking another three. He then looks at his top three with his library and puts two cards back on top before playing a land for turn. Eric then sacks his Fabled Passage and then goes to find a land out of his library. He then taps enough to cast Sakashima, revealing a Simic Signet off his Rashman Trigger, casting it. He then makes Sakashima a copy of Volo. Eric then casts Twinning Staff and casts Reclamation Sage, but doesn't get a copy since he already controls an elf. He then uses the Sage and blows up Fog's Hollow one. He then casts Sakura Tribe Elder, getting a second copy before sacking both copies to get two lands. He then taps out to cast Court of Calling for eight. Tutoring up an Avenger of Zendikar to the field, giving him 8 plant tokens. With the crowd in a frenzy, Foil draws, and finally gets the turn 5 second land. Fog draws for turn to cast Sweltering Sun for 3, wiping away most of Eric's board. He then casts a Shreds of Sanity, getting back his Sweltering Sun and Raking Claws. He then discards a card, dealing one to everybody, and getting another counter on his commander. He then swings at Eric, who blocks with his adventure. Justin draws for turn and casts Foundation Breaker, destroying Eric's twinning staff. He then casts Ethereal Forager by delving away four cards and tapping two islands. Eric rolls for his Mana Crypt trigger and then takes three more damage. He then looks at the top two cards of his deck with his library, and after thinking for a moment, decides to put both cards back. Eric then plays an island, recasts his commander, and passes. Foil draws for turn, doesn't get a third land, and then out of desperation, he taps two in order to cast an animate dead so he can get his Cloud Blazer from his graveyard. Cloud Blazer then enters, and Foil gains two life and draws two cards. He then slams down his third land and passes. Fog draws for turn the taps three for a seismic assault. Air counters it with a counter spell since he's afraid of dying to pitch lands. Fog then takes a chance on Eric not blocking with his commander and swings Braylon at Eric for 11. Eric doesn't block and before damage, Fog casts Raking Claws, giving Braylon double strike, taking Eric out of the game. Justin draws for turn, then taps out with enough mana to recast his commander. Foil draws and plays a Guy Rouge Sanitarium. He then taps two for a Felwar Stone, and then taps another three to cast his commander Sephiroth. Fog draws, and then taps five for Corvath Siri. He picks Foil and Justin and his foes, dealing damage to them equal to the number of cards in their hand. He then picks himself as a friend, discarding his hand and drawing that mini plus one, dealing two more damage to each opponent, and getting two more counters on Braylon. He then draws three and casts Burning Inquiry, having each player draw three and discard three at random. Each player then draws for three cards and discards three at random. Braylon then deals three more damage to each opponent and gets three more counters. Foil then realizes he missed his dungeon triggers, so he ventures into the Mad Mage's dungeon more times than he should. Justin plays another island for turn that casts Sakashima's will, revealing said done and putting it into his hand. He then chooses the Steel Fox commander and goes to combat, swinging the forager at foil for three. He then returns the preordain to his hand with the forager trigger and passes. Foil draws for turn and plays a land. Foil then taps two and he casts strategic planning. He looks at the top three cards of his library and he puts one of them into his hand and the other two into his graveyard. One of the cards he puts in his graveyard is a creature. He then ventures into the dungeon scrying two. He then casts Wall of Omens, drawing a card, and he casts Lightning Greaves before attaching him to Sephiroth and passing. Fog draws for turn, the taps 5 for a fervent mastery, going to look for 3 cards, then discarding 3 cards at random. He then discards Wheel of Fate, a Mountain, and Goblin Lore. He then casts Winds of Change, having everybody shuffle their hands into the libraries, drawing new cards, and he passes turn. 
Justin draws and taps out to cast Amanatu's Augury, revealing a force of vigor off his Rajman trigger, which he uses to blow up foils and animate dead and lightning greaves. Cloud Blazer goes in the graveyard, triggering Sephiroth, so Foiled ventures into the dungeon again. Justin then reveals a Raven's form and a Gear Per Ori off his augury. He then exiles Fog Soul Ring with a Raven form, giving him a nice hand drawn bird token. Justin also casts the Ori and then plays a Forest Return. He then goes to combat and swings Braylon at Foil, who just blocks with his wall. Foil draws return and casts Wrath of God, destroying other creatures, which triggers Sephiroth again. He then plays a Choked Estuary for turn and passes. Fog has no cards in the hand, so he draws for turn, then draws three more because of the Ori. He then plays his own Gyrid Sanitarium for turn. He then taps six to recast Braylon and another one to cast Elixir of Immortality. Justin plays a land for turn that taps four for unexpected results. He then shuffles his library and reveals an Aether Snipe off the top and uses it to bounce Braylon back to Fog's hand. He then casts Wilderness Reclamation and a Hedron Archive before passing and untapping his lands. Foil untaps and plays Arcane Endeavor, rolling two D8s. Then rolls his d8s and chooses to draw eight cards, then mistakenly casts a spell from his graveyard instead of his hand without paying its mana cost with his other trigger. He casts Wrath of God again, then plays a Temple of Silence, scrying one. At the end of his turn, Justin sacks his archive to draw two cards. Fog and Taps return and draws. He then plays a mount of return and recasts Braylon. He then casts Glenhorn Buccaneer and goes to combat. With the anger in his yard, his creatures have haste, so he swings Braylon at foil for three and the Buccaneer Justin for two. Justin draws and taps enough mana to recast his commander. He then plays an island for turn and pays four for an Archmage Emeritus, revealing the land from the Rajmi trigger, and then passes. Foil on taps and recasts his commander. He invokes his own Mold Drifter, drawing two cards and venturing into the dungeon, revealing his top three and casting one for free. With Radiant Solar entering the battlefield, Foil ventures into the dungeon yet again. He then taps two for Baleful Strix, drawing a card. Fog plays a Mountain, then cycles Scrap, dealing two damage to each opponent, and puts a counter on Berlin. Falcon activates his Guy Root Sanitarium, having everybody draw and discard a card, dealing two more damage to everyone and putting another counter on Braylon. Foil then ventures into the dungeon after discarding a creature. Falcon then casts Imperial Recruiter, going to search for a creature with power two or less. He then reveals a Patrick Gnomes and passes. Justin draws, plays a forest, and passes. Boyle draws and flashes back Unburial Rites, returning Phantasmal Image to the field as a copy of Radiant Solar, getting a Dungeon Trigger, gaining one while his opponents lose one. He then swings forward Fog, taking him down to 35 while gaining 3 life. He then casts Kai's Wrath to destroy the board, but it gets countered by Justin with a counter spell. Justin then reveals Sculpting Steel at the top of his library and draws off his mage. Foil then casts Victimize, targeting his Baleful Strix. He returns his Cloud Blazer and his Pathfinder from his graveyard to the battlefield. He then sacrifices the Baleful Strix, which goes to his graveyard, triggering Sephiroth's Alarmed Adventure and complete a dungeon. Afterward, he then draws two and gains two life off the Cloud Blazer entering the battlefield. Foil then triggers Sephiroth's last ability for completing a dungeon and returns Doom Necromancer to the battlefield. With Doom Necromancer entering the battlefield, he gets to go to a new dungeon, where he gets to scry one and he gains one life. Fog finally untaps a turn and taps five for Nohalmart's Archive. He then taps three to cast Patrick Gnomes before passing. Justin draws. He then taps four for Jace's Sanctum. 
Feeling to dig through time off his library and putting it into hand before casting it. He then draws off his mage and then he looks at those top seven, putting two to hand. He then casts Sculpting Steals to copy of Fog's archive before passing. Foil starts his turn by untapping and playing a Polluted Delta as his land for turn. He then casts Extract Burn on Justin for four. In response, Justin flashes and stunt double as a copy of Phantasmal Image, killing Foil's copy, which triggers his commander and he ventures into the dungeon. Justin hits Behold the Multiverse and he casts it. Drawing off his mage before scrying two and drawing four. He then casts Snag for free by discarding Forest, drawing two from his mage. He then casts Eureka Moment, drawing two off his mage, then drawing four more before playing a Forest. He then flashes in Sakashima's Protege. He cascades into Leyline of Anticipation, casting it for free, and makes his Protege a copy of a land. He makes the greatest play in the history of magic and casts Phyrexian Metamorph as a copy of Patrick Gnomes. That's for the fans. They're gonna love it. And discards his hand to deny foil from casting anything out of it. Fog draws for turn, but since his hand is empty, he draws six more off the archive and Ori. He then plays two lands while foil pays one life to crack his delta and get a land. He then casts Fluctuator and cycles Eudora again, dealing two damage to each opponent and drawing two more cards. Fog then casts a Drain of Stinger. He then also casts a Faithless Looting, drawing four and discarding two because of the archive, and dealing four damage to each of his opponents. He then casts Tectonic Reformation and cycles three lands, dealing nine damage to each opponent and puts more counters on his commander. He then goes to cycle Blasted Landscape, and in response, Foil to Sparks Braylon. Foil then only takes two, and Fog passes. At the end of the turn, Foil pays six to activate his Clay Golem. He then rolls a six, and destroys Fog's Stinger. Foil draws for turn, and casts Ashen Rider, exiling Fog's Buccaneer. Then swings out at Fog for 21 damage, taking him down to 14 life. He then ventures into the dungeon too many times to keep track of and casts Champion of Wits, drawing two before discarding down to hand size. Fog attacks return and casts Incendiary Command, dealing four to foil and destroying one of his lands. He then casts Mags of the Wheel, then with Anger in his yard, he activates. Foil then discards his hand and drawing 7. Fog draws 14 new cards, looking for a way to deal one more damage to Foil, but with no way to ping him for one, he concedes the game. Today's big winner is Foil playing Sephiroth. Sephiroth is now 2-0 on the channel, and both times Foil has been within a lightning bolt's distance of losing to Fog. This just goes to show you if you lay low long enough, you can pull out a win. The MVP of today's game is Sephiroth. Despite all the missed triggers in this game, it's hard to deny the value she gives you by venturing into all those dungeons. Thanks for watching and be on the lookout for more games and decks you would normally see in your average meta.